Hello everyone. In this video, we will talk about how we can create a CLI, a simple CLI rather, yet well documented with Go. Now that you could go with the traditional route of using arguments and use that approach to create a CLI. However, it's not very sustainable. Over the time as your project grows, it becomes very difficult to manage different options, adding more features to your CLI. And that is where external packages or packages that are available from third parties or maintainers, which help us build CLIs yet in a very structured way. And one of such package available is uh, Cobra. So let's go to the browser and search for Cobra or GitHub. This is from F SPF 13, who is the maintainer who was the creator of this package. As you can see, this, this has been very well received by the community as well. And if you look at the bottom, this, this is, these are the steps how you can start uh, using this particular package. So let's get back to the terminal. Start off by creating uh, a directory. I mean, we'll call it a uh, greeter. Following the tradition of saying hello to someone. Let's cd into it and I will open VS Code. Now, before we jump into VS Code, uh, let's initialize this to be a Go mode, Go project, and we can do the, do that by Go mode in it, and we'll name it as Greeter. Now, notice that you don't need it to be a complete uh, GitHub path or GitLab path. You can simply call it Greeter, and this will still work. Now that we are done with that part, we can jump into VS Code. Oh, since we want to use Cobra as a package for creating our library, let's go ahead and add this step as well. We want this package to be used while creating the CLI. So let's get that package. So go get and this package. We can do a go more tidy so that it can pull any dependencies that are required. Awesome. So we don't have any such files which will need packages. So we can close this. We can get back into VS Code. Let's start off by creating a main.go. Inside our main.go, what we want to do is we want to initialize this package first. So it'll be package main and we would also want to import any packages that we want to use while building this project. So the first one we want is this Cobra. I have put an underscore because I'm still not using this package, but I would still want uh, the auto cleanup or uh, auto format to ignore this particular function or uh, this import. So that's why an underscore. Let's do a func main. And just so it's fairly visible to everyone, I'll zoom in. Now, the very first thing that you want to do is create a root command for us. Uh, what is a command? A root command is basically an entry point for your application. And you can do so by using Let's call it a uh, root command. And uh, if you are noticing the pop-ups that you see on the other suggestions that you're seeing is because of uh, GitHub pilot. I'm using GitHub pilot. That is why I'm getting all those suggestions. So let's start off by creating a command as We can directly suggest this uh, instead of using this one. We can let's format it in our way. I'm going to call this one as greeter. Now use is you will see the use the suggestion that we have as in the greeter is where this is the name of your CLI that will be uh, used on the prompt as a in the terminal when you want to run those your application. It will be called as greeter. You can name it anything as you want, but that's the proper name, the way of naming your CLI in the terminal. Now you can also add a short description. 
let's call it uh, yeah that's this is a fine one the you can also add a long description but i will keep it uh, let's do it this way greater is a uh, basic cli and then this is a friend the yeah, client application works for me now run is where you will set the the function that you want your application to execute when it's called so this is the format of the function and what we would like to do is simply say print <clears throat> and instead of doing a hello world let's do uh, let's say welcome to the application or something so that means that our application is working now that we have things done here what we would want to do is we would like our command to execute now the execute function returns actually an error and let's resolve this no required module provides this thing and we have the import done for us so the, the error message was that it was not able to find the package itself and that's what i resolved by executing the command go more tidy it just went ahead and find the package anyway so the execute command returns an error so we would like to catch that error and if that error is not equal to nil we would want to let's say we can panic or we can also let out uh, a simple message uh, instead of mm, let's, let, it's fine let's print the error itself whatever the failure is it's usually better to handle that error and give, uh, give your users a much better and friendly message instead of just the proper error but since we are in just learning phase it's totally okay now let's jump back to the terminal and I will zoom this one as well. Let's build go build hyphen o data. Since I already tried this once in past, that's why the suggestions. And now we have our binary built for us. Let's run it. And we have welcome to greater. Now this is okay, but it's not very useful. We, if we just run greater hyphen hyphen help, we don't have so much details. So great, if you notice, this is the name of the use, the name we defined in use. Let me show you like this. So in use, we set greater, which is available right here, which is the name of the root command that you just defined. The short description that you see here, which said it's available when you run the application and just uh, this is a short description if you do, if you were not to print this message and just use and not use help and there were certain errors it would give this particular message since we are doing a help it gives the proper long message and that's why we are seeing this and this is the error message which is executing executed with run now that being done let's create one more command and let's add it to greet someone. So let's call it greet CMD. It's just going to be a Cobra command again, which is good. Uh, short greet the user for the long greet the user with a friendly message. Awesome. You should also try GitHub Copilot. It's awesome. And for the run, what I would like to do is Let's go. Let's just say hello, maybe. Hello, and if you would like to pass in, let's say should be bus printf, and we can say we'd also like to add a new line, and then we could say. 
arcs zero the arcs zero will be if you were to let 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 me show you as a, as an example there so let's move this thing up because this is a root and what we want to do is we want to bind these two commands so what we need to do is root command dot add command greet cmd and now let's head back to the terminal let me minimize this let's clean this up go build greeter and now if i do greeter help we actually see something more so we have greeter which accepts flags and commands and now we see that we actually have got more commands to us so completion is to generate the auto completion if required cobra does this for us out of the box it helps you generate the auto completion for your cli project or the overall project that you develop over time now greet is the command that we have just added so let's take a further look on to greet command greet greeter greet gaurav and we have hello gaurav now this is coming from this is you seeing because of the way i have set up my terminal theme and that is the only plausible reason why you're seeing this otherwise you need not worry about that message we could also instead of doing this here we should be doing it here let me rebuild Here we go. And this is how you can build a very simple CLI using Cobra. Now in the next videos, we will see how we can structure this in a proper way, because as of now, we want to add more commands to this root command or greeter that is going to just pile up in the main function, which is not the right way of doing things. Instead, we should have a proper structure of a command as in a cmd and then we have greeter defined as a command itself and everything composed in that particular package so that is something that we're going to look into in the next videos and we would also like to unit test our cli that we go over time let's take a look at them in the next videos thank you for watching